Okay, this here is Reno, and he's very sweet, very handsome little boy, and he does not get a normal Yorkie breed trim. Um, most Yorkies are left full coated um, if they are in a breed trim. He gets a pet trim, and it's a little different. Normally you tip the ears of a Yorkie, but on him, his mama does not like that, so we leave them full length and just trim around the edge. Um, he gets a pretty short body trim, and his legs are a little bit longer and scissored, and he gets a nice round Yorkie face with a short top of the head. So I just wanted to show you how I do that. So, come here, handsome boy. Okay. Use a short blade, like a 15 blade or a 10 blade, on the corners of the eyes here, and I just gently scoop those out. He's a very good boy. I hold him by the chin, hair on his chin. It doesn't hurt. I don't pull it. I just hold it. If he pulls, he understands pretty quickly that I have a hold of it. He's a pretty good boy. Okay. You want to do the face first, just like when you're washing a baby, you want to work your way from the cleanest area to the dirtiest area. And even though he's had a bath, I would still consider his bum and sanitary the dirty area. So I'm going to start with his face. All these things I do with the same blade, the short blade, the 10 or the 15 blade. Then I lift his little arm up here, turn him around so you can get a good picture in here. Lift his little leg up, do his little armpit, just gently. Lift his little leg up, do this little leg pit back here, very gently, obvious reasons. Okay, then turn him around and do that on the other side. Same thing over here. You want to be careful on how high you lift the dog's leg. He was kind of hopping there, so I needed to lower it. <laughs> now, he does not have a tail. So it, I somewhat create one. So let me get his belly done real quick. I lift him up and gently, gently flip over the area that you want short. For sanitary reasons, we do the belly and genital area pretty short to keep it from collecting urine and getting infected. And then from there, I go to the bottom, and he doesn't have a tail, none whatsoever. So I pull his fur up here and just gently, gently clip over that area. And there you have it. There's his sanitary. I'm done with that blade. You try to do it as quickly and gently as possible because you don't want that blade to get too hot because you can clip or burn and even hurt the dog that way. So then I got my 40 blade, which is extremely short, but it's the safest blade to get between these paw pads here. And I just gently, gently scoop in just enough to get that long hair out. If there's any matting, and get that out that way. Just clean it up a little so all you see is the paw instead of a bunch of hair. Do that on all four paws. You can see he's an excellent little boy. Last paw. It's easy if you flip them back and look at the underside while you do it. It's usually more comfortable for the dog that way as well. 
Okay, so there's the paws. All right, now I'm going to do a quick clip of his body. And when I'm doing a whole dog, the whole body and the head in one length, I just start at the head and work my way back. He gets a really short cut for your feet. I blend into the, to the side of his head here, just blending gently, and I do clip the back of his ear. Down around his neck, down to his leg down there. I do not clip his legs with the short blade. I leave them a little bit longer. I'll show you that here in a minute. Stop right about where his muscle is here on his leg. Turn him around a little bit here. All the way down his back. Blend kind of off his tail because he doesn't have a tail. Kind of how to create a tail, I guess. Down the side. You always want to go the direction the hair naturally lays. Right down the side the arm, or the front leg, rather. See the itchy. And there's that side. That's a really noisy blade, too. When doing the whole body, you want to switch your blade often because they get really hot, like I said before. Um, so it's good to have extras of the same length so that you can switch them out often enough. You don't have to worry about having a super hot blade. And of course, if one gets stopped up and doesn't work, needs to be sharpened or cleaned or adjusted, it's good to have an extra so you don't have to stop and do that right in the middle of the dog. He's just a snooping around and being a good boy there. You notice he doesn't even have to be restrained by the loop. He's just a really good boy. He's used to this. He comes just about every month. His mama takes really good care of him. Keeps him nice and clean. Then I'm blending off the side of the head again here, just like I did on the other side. Then I'll hold all this beard here forward and clip around his neck here. And then down, just like I did on the other side. Okay. There's his body, okay? I need to get under his belly here, so I'll just lift him up gently. Older dogs can't usually do this. You need to lift them from the other direction. He's nice and young and healthy, and he's got good legs, so I don't mind doing that to him. But if you have an older dog, you can lift the other direction because the front legs seem to be more sturdy and less painful than the back legs in the hip area. Okay, so there's his body.